ear is a complicated part of the body, and an ear infection can be painful due to the buildup of fluids inside the ear and resulting inflammation. But why are children most likely to get an ear infection? Parkview pediatrician Dr. Tony Giaquinta explains that it's all in their anatomy. There's a drainage tube called the eustachian tube that connects that middle ear actually back to the oropharynx, and it helps drain whatever fluid's in there. However, Infants and young children have a little bit different anatomy as they grow older, and that eustachian tube is notorious for getting kinked off. When that happens, any fluid in the middle ear can't escape, and it is a wonderful breeding ground for viruses and bacteria. Antibiotics are most commonly used for the treatment of ear infections. However, depending on a child's age, spotting an infection may be difficult. Young infants, like infants less than six months old, aren't able to communicate where their pain is or, or what is causing their infection. So every time we have a young child with an infection, it's our job to do a complete head-to-toe exam and look for all of the common and uncommon sources of an infection. And so we will always, always look in those ears to see if that might be a source of a bacterial process that could benefit from the use of antibiotics. While ear infections may go away on their own, Dr. Giaquina recommends getting to a physician early to begin a treatment plan. The most important thing to know about an ear infection is that your child won't feel very good and a lot of times that bacteria will not go away without antibiotics. And before your child goes back out to play, remember they may still be contagious. Ear infections in themselves are not contagious. However, the virus that may have brought on that ear infection is something that is contagious and it's not localized just to the ear, but again, your whole body is usually shedding that virus and can certainly be passed along from one person to another. While there's not much that can be done to prevent an ear infection, the best form of defense is vaccination. Your child is going to be in the environment. They're going to be exposed to lots of different viruses and bacteria. Luckily, we do know the most common causes of bacterial ear infections are Haemophilus influenza and Strep pneumococcus. Guess what those bacteria are? They are found in our vaccines that we get routinely at two, four, six, and 12 months of life. So many of those types of bacteria we are actually preventing by just getting our routine vaccinations. And we have found indeed that we are decreasing ear infections because of those vaccines. This has been Making the Rounds, brought to you by Parkview Health.